Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I again welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So this is the second tutorial of a new series that is getting started with competitive coding and DS algo. So basically we are going to cover continue with number theory. That is uh, in this tutorial we are going to cover all divisors of a number of a number in in root any complexity and prime number checking that is that is going to be primarily test in root n complexity so this is going to be interesting let's get started with this so this is a primary test basically so i'll tell you the difference how you can uh, create the difference that uh, how is it different from others so basically here we are going to do a primary test so then uh, before that we are going to check the devices of a number but the difference here we are going to do both of them in root n complexity so that means so in uh, root n complexity means uh, uh, I'll show you an example and you'll get it how we, we are going to do that so let's get started so uh, I open my files so I'll open my files here yeah on the left I'll produce the output and on the right I will code okay so I'll save this file okay let me move to my desktop yeah so uh, first I'll do divisors dot py so I'll quickly take uh, like I have a number 24 so I have all the divisors of it so divisors of 24 is equal to 1 comma 2 comma uh, 4 is the divisor yes 6 is a divisor yes 24 is a divisor yes uh, I am missing two numbers that is 3 and the next is going to be 8 yeah so I guess the all these are the divisors even 12 is also a divisor yeah so here you can see that uh, here you can see 1 2 is a divisor 3 is a divisor 4 then 6 then 8 then 12 and 24 yeah so I'll take an input t is equal to int input so how many test cases I'm going to be taking then while t t is equal to t minus 1 then I'll take n is equal to int input okay and there here I, I'm going to define div is equal to uh, uh, fun 1 of n and uh, then I'll do print star div yeah then then I'll do div 2 is equal to fun 2 of n then I'll do print star of div 2 yeah so I'll define a function define I'll define a function here define div1 so here you can see div1 sorry fun1 of n so here you can see for i in range 1 to n plus 1 okay then div1 is equal to uh, div1 is uh, div1 is an empty list for i in range 1 to n plus 1 if n modulo i is equal to 0 then div1 dot append i but here you can see then I would return div1 but here you can see the time complexity of this program is big O of n because I am making a for loop from 1 till n so here I can write like this 1 to n I'm making a for loop of 1 to n but I can write an efficient program where define fun2 I can write an efficient program where time complexity is equal to root of n that is root of n so this could be more efficient for that I'll do div2 is equal to set okay then for i in range here I will loop till loop only uh, let me import an header file from math import star okay then for i in range int sqrt square root of n plus 1 so here here I can see that I'm making a for loop till 1 to root n root n yes perfectly fine I'm making a, a for loop to 1 to root n then diff2 dot add 
ओके लेट मी टाइक इफ कंडीशन इफ इफ एन मॉड्यूलो आई एन मॉड्यूलो आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन डिफ टू डॉट एड आई एंड डिफ टू डॉट एड एन बाय आई आल्सो आई टेल यू द ट्रिक हियर रिटर्न डिफ टू ओके सो लेट मी फर्स्ट रन दिस प्रोग्राम सो आई define it as return list then i would type this set to a list first it was a set but now i have type cast to this to a list and now i would return the program okay so let me run the program uh, i'll give a test case 1 then 24 uh, okay 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 let me uh, i'm having an error okay yeah so div 1 has to be there and then yeah then 1 and 24 yeah here you can see from both the uh, here you can see like uh, both the programs run uh, re return uh, the list of divisors but one in a time complexity of o n o n and then a one a time complexity of root n so basically for uh, just for an example here you can see so you can maybe you can see like uh, that uh, n is equal to 24 so one time complexity would be is equal to o of n so that would be equal to 24 and for time n is equal to 24 time complexity is equal to root n so basically here you can say that root n is nearly equal to uh, let me have a calculation that how much root n is equal to so uh here can you can see yeah root n is equal to 4.89 because root 25 is equal to 5 so here you can see that how much different does it make okay so here you can see the so i would tell you the trick here here the trick was the analogy here here you can see that if you could divide the integer by 1 then if you could divide the integer by 1 then 24 divided by 1 is equal to 24 uh, you can keep at the right side then if it is divisible by 2 then 24 by 2 is equal to 12 okay i'm i'm making an inside i'm, I'm making for a move from both the extreme ends then if it is divisible by 3 then you can do 24 divided by 3 24 divided uh, uh, divided by 3 is equal to 8 in the same way here you can do 1 24 2 12 3 8 and in the same way 4 then 24 by 4 is equal to 6 so here in this way you can make an efficient program as compared to because uh, here you can say that uh, time comp uh, root n root n is a efficient program okay if it is an efficient program because and the time complexity of o of n n is greater than or uh, here you can see that it is greater than root of n or you can say that time complexity of root n is less than n so here you can make an efficient move in the both the ways and this is a very short hand syntax if you want to print a list of uh, let me show you that if i have a list a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 5 okay and i if i do for i in range this is a new trick for i in range 0 to len a print a of i a of i and is equal to this so here you can see then you can print in a space separated manner so you get 1 2 3 4 5 but i can do this in a one single line by doing this print star a so here you can see that you can use this like amount of line of code into a single line and this might be an efficient while if you want to print a large list so this would keep you at uh, a very efficient program so this was a good learning process so we'll catch up in the, the next tutorial so thank you guys thank you so much i'll catch up in the next tutorial thank you guys